Congratulations on becoming part of the Fisher family. Your new metal detector has been carefully handcrafted by the most knowledgeable professionals in the industry. Fisher M-Scope detectors have been made in the United States since 1931. With 70 years of experience behind each detector that leaves our factory, you are guaranteed the long-standing tradition of built-in quality. Hello, my name is Bob Reynolds for Fisher Research Laboratories. I work as a special process engineer for a major aerospace company out of Mesa, Arizona, and I'm also an authorized Fisher dealer. I've been an avid metal detectorist for over 23 years, and today I'll be showing you the general setup and use of your metal detector. I'd like to congratulate you and welcome you to the Fisher family. Many gold-bearing areas are literally peppered with small nuggets just below the surface. The trouble is, most metal detectors pass right over them. The nuggets are too small or the ground is too heavily mineralized. Fisher's Gold Bug 2 was designed from the ground up for the sole purpose of helping prospectors find gold nuggets. Your new metal detector is just about ready to go. Unpack your detector carefully and set the carton aside. Begin by sliding the lower stem into the upper handle. Then connect the search coil cable to the control housing. Adjust the stem length and coil angle so that the search coil rests flat on the ground, about 6 to 12 inches in front of and slightly to the outside of your foot. Stem length is adjusted by loosening the lower lock nut and allowing the spring lock to snap into one of the holes in the upper handle. The coil angle is adjusted by loosening the nylon wing nut on top of the search coil. Once you've set a comfortable length, wind the coil cable in a manner that avoids any kinks or overstressing of the connection. Spend some time getting to know the control panel of your metal detector. The Gold Bug 2 has seven controls to learn. They are the iron discrimination, audio boost mode control when in the iron discrimination position, hot rocks and small iron objects are ignored. In the normal position, the unit is in the all metal auto tune mode and is used for most nugget hunting conditions. Audio boost position amplifies the volume on small targets. The sensitivity knob controls adjust sensitivity to targets and ground minerals. The higher the setting, the deeper you will detect. You will also detect smaller targets. However, the Gold Bug 2 is so sensitive at the maximum setting that you will pick up more false signals in mineralized soil. The sensitivity control is the most misunderstood on many detectors. Think of it as a gas pedal on your car. On a long straight highway, low mineralized ground, you can give it more gas. But on a twisted mountain road, highly mineralized ground, you will achieve more depth and a safer ride by cutting back on the gas. If your detector is acting erratic, cut back on the sensitivity until it smooths out. In the extreme counterclockwise position, this control doubles as a battery test. The ground reject control. This dual knob is used to electronically tune the search coil to ignore ground minerals. The small knob on top is a single turn course adjustment with 20 fixed positions. The large 16 turn fine tuning knob is on the bottom. This control works in conjunction with all three operating modes of the Gold Bug 2. The volume control turns the power on and adjusts the signal response volume. Normally set at 10 unless you are wearing headphones. The headphone jack accepts most stereo and mono headphones with quarter inch plugs. When using headphones with a stereo mono switch, put it in the stereo position. The mineralization control is a three position toggle switch and has three modes for varying levels of ground mineralization, high, normal, and low. 
The audio threshold control is located between the battery doors and is used to set a barely audible sound when first turning the detector on and just prior to hunting. Make this adjustment when the search coil is in the air away from any metal objects. The Gold Bug 2 operates at 71 kilohertz. This ultra high frequency allows the user to search deeper for the tiniest gold flakes. Be sure to keep the search coil parallel to and as close to the ground as possible. Also pay attention to the speed at which you move the search coil. Sweeping too quickly will produce too many false signals. Slowing the speed of the coil will increase target separation and add depth. Be sure to overlap your sweeps to avoid missing any good signals. Two 9-volt batteries are located in separate compartments at the rear of the housing. When it is time to replace batteries, always replace them both. Battery replacement is simple with the drop-in compartments. Just pop the doors open, slide the old batteries out, and drop the new ones in. Be sure to pay attention to the plus-minus polarity of the batteries. Your metal detector does not require a lot of care, but there are a few things you should do to keep it in peak operating condition. If you are not going to use it for a while, take the batteries out. Acid damage caused by leaking batteries can be severe. Also avoid extreme temperatures, like inside a closed car sitting in the sun. If you scrub the coil on the ground, you will eventually wear through the bottom. Replacement coils are expensive. Instead, invest in a coil cover. Put a plastic bag over the control housing if you are hunting in the rain, fog, or dust. Wipe off the lower stem before sliding it into the upper stem to keep it free of sand and dirt. Simply put, keep your metal detector clean and dry. Your Fisher metal detector is covered by a lifetime limited warranty. Should your unit need to be evaluated, there are a couple of things you should check prior to sending it in. Make sure the batteries are properly installed and do not need replacing, and that all the cable connections are secure. Should warranty service become necessary, contact Fisher for a list of authorized repair centers. You can also send your detector prepaid to the factory. Your original carton may come in handy if you ever have to return the unit for service. Now that you've familiarized yourself with your Gold Bug 2, there are a few things you need to be aware of before you head out to the field. If you yourself wear jewelry, now is the time to remove it, put it in your pocket so you don't have to recover it yourself later. Another point we discussed was coil control. It is very important with the Gold Bug that you keep that coil parallel to the ground and smooth at all times. A lot of people have a bad habit of what's called the golf swing. So make sure it's smooth and your index is slow. The Gold Bug 2 is also very temperamental for ground balancing. Take time to learn that ground balancing. Once you have that down pat, you'll achieve more nuggets at deeper depth. As you also head into the field, remember your ethics. Fill all your holes, remove all your trash. Whenever you have the opportunity, share your hobby with a child. As always, should you have any questions regarding your new metal detector, please refer to your operating manual or contact your local Fisher dealer. And at any time, you can contact the factory customer service department for additional information. This is Bob Reynolds for the Fisher Research Laboratory. Thank you and happy hunting.